Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kevin, a shoe reviewer on YouTube from Malaysia. Today I'm going to review Skechers Go Ride 11, an affordable daily trainer with a very nice touch. This is Sketches Go Ride 11, a very plush and very comfortable daily trainer. Before we start, disclaimer, this shoes is sent by Sketches Malaysia itself for the purpose of review. All the opinion in this video is my own opinion. In this video, I'm going to talk about the spec of the shoes, overview of the shoes, and how I feel about the shoes when I take out for some run. And also, I will talk about the like and dislike about the shoes. So let's go to the spec of the shoes. Let's start with some spec of the shoes. For my size US 11, the shoes weigh at 314 gram. For the stack height on the heel here is 38 mm. For the forefoot here is 32 mm. Make the shoes 8 mm drop. There's a carbon fiber plate infused inside the form itself. For the price, the shoes at 599 ringgit. You can purchase at Skechers website or Skechers shop. It came with this blue color or the black color. For the shoes, it fit true to size. There is another white option for this is true to size. For the width, arch and the heel here is normal fitting. Normal width for the pair of shoes. For the right, the shoes is very comfortable and very plush because there is a lot of sponge and the shoes is very stable when you're running or walking with it. For the form, it using the hyperburst eyes. You can see it written down here. Let's have a look on the upper of the shoes. The shoes is very well plush, a lot of cushion around the shoes. You see at front here, there's a lot of ventilation oh, at the front and the side over here. Even though there's so many ventilation, actually it's also a bit cushion at this area. Moving to the tongue, the tongue is not that really long, you can see it's not really that long. If you go for the runner knot, maybe you're not long enough, but these legs are stretchable. So you can try on it if you need on the runner knot. So from the tongue, it's also very well plus you can see the sponge and the tongue here quite a lot and moving to the heel side also a lot of sponge over here a lot of support and there's one heel collar over here so it's not really you can't really press on the back here because of the heel collar at here but because of so many sponge at here it came out with some issue that later i'm going to talk about Moving to the midsole area, the very nice the eye green at this midsole area, that is the hyperburst eyes. I try to see whether is it light in the night time because it seems like the fluorescent that we light in the night, unfortunately it's not. If we light in the night, it will be very nice, unfortunately it's not. And there is a carbon infused inside the shoes. I can't really find where is the plane but it's a bit bendable but not really easy to bend because I can feel there's something responsive on that part. For the shoes that has some arch fit over here and some arch area, if you are mid foot, uh, mid arch or high arch, you can fit nicely. But if you are flat footer, better go and try on these shoes because there's some arch area at here. So it might press on your forefoot to the bottom of the shoes the shoes the grip the rubber they're using the goodyear rubber from the back to the front is mostly cover except this area this area actually are sinking so it's fine to without any rubber to protect this form and the front here you can see there's a lot of wave length that is where the shoes bend this is the area where the shoes bend so you have some space so the rubber won't attach together 
and the grip on this area is very nice. I try it on the dry and wet weather. The grip of the shoes is available. The shoes design is a bit of rocker geometry. So you can see at this video, the shoes are actually are rocking. You see, if I move on the back, go to the front, the shoes are actually bouncing. If I go to the front, actually the shoes are rocking at that side. I bring the shoes out for dry and wet weather. For the traction, there's no issue on it, on the dry and on the wet. The traction is pretty good. The Goodyear rubber are performed really well on it. But one thing is, when it's wet, the shoes become heavy because there's too much sponge around the shoes, especially the old top here, the back here. The shoes they become slightly heavy. And one thing that I encountered during my run is some heel slippage over here, this area. When I'm wearing, even though now until 20 plus kilometer on these shoes, I'm still facing some heel slippage over here. So I have to tie the shoes much more harder just to mitigate this heel slippage area. For the hot spot on the shoes, there's no hot spot on the front and on the back on the shoes. For the bottom on here, I also didn't feel any hot spot at my foot area. The shoes perform pretty well and quite stable because of the huge at the heel area here, the amount of cushion, the shoes are pretty stable. What I like about the shoes, the first one is the comfortable of the shoes because the shoes are so plush, so many cushions, the shoes are pretty comfortable when I put my leg in, when I'm having a easy run with these shoes. It's just like two big marshmallow or pillow when you put your feet in, when you're walking and you're running on it. It's pretty comfortable when you're running on it. The next one is the responsive water shoe. Even though the shoes are a bit heavy, bulky, but the responsive is at there. When I want to try to run a bit faster, do some strike with the shoes, the shoe is able to handle it. Most probably because of the form and the carbon infused plate inside it. So the shoes are just very easy to go when I just want to go at the faster pace. Number three is the traction of the shoe. Thanks to the Goodyear rubber, the traction of the shoes on the dry and the wet are pretty good. I can just run on top of the water without feeling really slippery. Number four is durability. From what I see right here, the amount of the rubber on the bottom of the shoe, the thickness, the amount of cushion on top and the sole area seems like the shoes can easily last to 1000 km. The last one is the white household. The white also make the shoes much more stable, especially when you're running on the slow pace. When you land at the heel here or forefoot here, the shoes are pretty stable and you have the rocker geometry at the shoes. First dislike is the heel slippage. I got heel slippage and this here maybe because of too many cushion. So I have some heel slippage when I run with the shoes. Maybe I try to fix it or maybe try to tie it harder or change the longer lace to use the runner knot to reduce this heel slippage. The next one is the weight of the shoes. 314 gram for these shoes is a bit heavy for a daily trainer. And once it's wet, the shoes is become much more heavy because all the cushion absorb the water around it and make it much more heavy. What's my take on the shoes after trying it for almost 20 km wet and dry with the shoes? The shoes are pretty comfortable, just like two big below and my leg or marshmallow is very comfortable and the responsive of the shoes. You can just go fast using the shoes and it can pick up the pace very easy. So what I'm thinking is the shoes are pretty good price at 599 ringgit even though it's a bit heavy i would like to recommend for the people who are looking for a very comfortable daily trainer with some responsive in the shoes that's all for my first impression review remember to subscribe and like on this comment see you guys on the next video bye